Diagon Alley is a madhouse, but that's okay. We're just here for the ambiance. But this is what you can expect when you're here for Christmas time in any theme park. Because like friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 24 of vlogmas it is christmas eve at the time you guys will be watching this because i did pre-film this one uh the day before so it's technically the 23rd but uh happy christmas eve to all of my friends out there today we are at universal studios for our last theme park vlog of the year so i decided i'm going to take a little break after vlogmas to kind of recuperate and get my uh creative juices flowing once again so we can have a fantastic 2022 so i'm really excited i have some really fun things that are going to be coming up more on the informational side of disney and universal so that's really exciting but today we're just here to have some fun really let's see what the crowds look like it has been it has been extremely busy at Disney and Universal, so I'm just curious to see if we're going to even be able to accomplish anything today, but uh, that's, I guess we'll find out. So with that said, let's head inside the park and live our most magical life. So this is my last time saying this for 2021. Well, friends, we made it into the park. <laughs> Guys, we got the Blues Brothers playing out in the New York City street. So awesome. I love stopping and watching them perform along with the uh, construction jammer people. Love that as well. They are rocking the crowd right now. Look at all of these people. This is the most I've ever seen a crowd gather for an outside show, which is so nice. Like everybody is in the holly jolly spirit and it just it's making me really excited. Right now we're gonna enter Diagon Alley because I feel like it's criminal if you come to Universal Studios and don't enter Diagon Alley. That first week of Vlogmas where I was trying to avoid Diagon Alley because I wanted it to feel authentic for Vlogmas literally killed me because I, I just feel like I always have to enter. Even if I'm not gonna do anything or inside or purchase anything, you still have to just go in there and take it all in. Diagon Alley is a madhouse, but that's okay. We're just here for the ambiance. But this is what you can expect when you're here for Christmas time in any theme park, because I guess a lot of people are flying in from other states and other locations, visiting their grandparents, their old dusty, crusty grandparents who live here in Florida. Well done, dragon. So I say let's head out of Diagon Alley and check out the rest of the park and see what the crowds look like and maybe there are some more festive activities happening. We are at the Men in Black Alien Attack and guys, if you've been watching for a long time, you guys remember I said that this needs to go, but that was so like early on in my Universal Pass Holder experience that now I'm kind of like, you know what, keep it because some of my best memories have actually been on this ride. So I say we keep her, but let's update her. Let's make her a little bit more modern, but I do have some pretty good memories on that ride. We are currently in the Simpsons area and it's a 15 minute wait for the Krusty Land Simpsons ride, which uh, yeah, I see why it's 15, nobody wants to ride that. But I do still think it was a missed opportunity for them to add Christmas decorations here. Like I get it, there are already a lot of lights going on here, but come on, you could have given us like a Simpsons Christmas tree like right there. You literally could have put it right there. And I'm not over, hi, I am not over that, so. Also, me and Tony have made a pact that we are going to start doing a lot more restaurant reviews, whether that's like quick service areas or actual like dining restaurants. So that's something that we are super excited for, for 2022. That is our goal. We wanna to try to do as many restaurant reviews, quick service reviews as possible. So that's something to look forward to. They are promoting Sing2 pretty hard here and I'm actually excited for this I really enjoyed seeing one and I thought it was super cute and I'm really excited and that's actually my favorite character right there the little iguana with a lazy eye does that not kind of look like me if I put a wig on is that not me 
Here we are in the kid zone area where you can find SpongeBob store pants and then the ET ride. Now, rumor is is that this is all going to get rethemed to a Pokemon land area now i don't know how true this is again all my information comes directly from twitter where it's like you know fan speculation but how fantastic would a pokemon land be right here i feel like it would be perfect for it but the only issue is that the et ride is here and i think the contract says that the et ride has to stay but i'm not sure that's just what i've heard on different youtube channels and on twitter so I guess we will find out. Hopefully we get some announcements on what's gonna happen with this land because a lot of it is kind of run down. Like they did a, a re-theme and put DreamWorks Destination where it's a character meet and greet, but there's not really a lot going on back here other than 5-0's little play area, but who's really going in there, honestly? During summer, we finally got to try Central Park Crepes and baby, this is top tier food in you know me and tony's opinion we love this when we we would travel all the way from tampa to come to universal just to eat this which is mind-boggling that i can't believe that we did that now that i'm living in orlando i can't believe that i wasted so much gas and mileage on my car to come film but we used to do it and this is probably the best like snack that you can get at Universal Studios. If you are coming to Universal Studios and you do not try the brisket crepe, shame on you because this is this is incredible, honestly. They do have some of the floats that you can see during the Holiday Macy's Parade out right now for photo opportunities, which is really nice that they do this. Guys, look, they got all the children from Despicable Me, plus Gru and his, uh, I guess his baby mama, I don't know her name, but she's also there and guys, I have never seen him in Universal before, but here is Beetlejuice, and that's super exciting to see. Wow. So it is getting a little dark, so I figure let's head to Islands of Adventure and then spend the rest of our time there because I'm afraid of the rain ruining my microphone, all of my camera equipment. So uh, let's jump over there. Hopefully we can get on a ride. If not, it's totally fine. But lately I have been able to ride the Hulk every single time I've come because the wait has been 10 minutes, even on busier days. So let's pray that I can get on one ride. Right now we're walking over to Islands of Adventure, but you guys really enjoyed our city walk Christmas vlog. So one thing me and Tony want to do is try more of the restaurants here. And I think that's where it kind of stemmed from is that when we actually did the city walk tour, we said, wow, we really don't show enough of the cuisine here. So I'm very excited to come through and try more of these restaurants for you guys, because I want the channel to become a little bit more informational for those of you who are visiting out of town. Now, for the last time in 2021, my friends, we made it into Islands of Adventure. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know why I'm getting like really emotional about not being able to come back. Well, not that I'm not able to come back, but I'm just deciding not to come back until 2022. But I do, I do get a little emotional thinking about it. For today, we are going to walk through Seuss Landing first because this is going to be our last time doing so in 2021 so we have to say goodbye to seuss landing for christmas time and i guess all of 2021 now that vlogmas is wrapping up i think we can make the assumption that seuss landing is the best during christmas now here we are in the lost continent and this has been closed since i got my annual pass one year ago and i'm just curious to know like what is happening here what are we doing because it seems like they spent a lot of money on like the exterior of the ride or i wouldn't even call this a ride more of a show but what are we doing now we are going to head into hogsmeade now on busy days like this this is something that i loathe completely because the wizarding world does tend to be a bit busier as you guys can see, guys, look at this. I'm going to lift you guys up so you can see the crowd here. It is pretty wild here. So, oh gosh, I think this is going to be like an in and out journey. 
Now Hagrid's is a 60 minute wait and I did want to do it today, but the weather is so unpredictable and when it does start to rain, they will shut down the ride. So you're not guaranteed to ride it. So I don't know. So my friends say goodbye to Hogsmeade for 2021. We will be back in 2022, but it's it's wild today. So we're gonna head out and head to the Jurassic Park area and see what that looks like. Now the Velocicoaster is a 40 minute wait, which again, I always find mind boggling with this being the newest ride. 40 minutes, that's not bad at all. So the Velocicoaster is a 40 minute wait and I was gonna do it as long as the single rider line was open but it is closed today and i can't guarantee that we're gonna get on because of the overcast and it does look like it's gonna rain and once it starts to rain it's a wrap for this ride so let's move on here we are at river adventure in the jurassic park area it's only a five minute wait i think i'm gonna jump on i know it's pretty dark and the overcast is real that's why the line is so short but uh, I want to get on at least something before we go. Now filming here is a little weird. Sometimes they let you, sometimes they don't. So if I get footage, great. If I don't, it's whatever. But let's jump on. Now the last time we were on this ride, I did get stopped mid-ride by a cast member on the announcement saying no filming. But I, I don't know, sometimes they let you, sometimes they don't. So I guess let's see what happens today. So I just got off of the Jurassic Park River Adventure ride. I always loved that ride and it was a complete walk on because obviously the overcast is real today. But one thing I wish when it comes to Universal is that it was a little bit easier to film on the rides. Now I do get it, like some of the rides are more thrilling and not as easy to film on, but I feel like that one, they could, they could probably let me film on that ride. I don't know, maybe that's just being picky, but I wish I could film a little bit more on that ride for you guys. Okay, my friends, so we are making our way back to the entrance of Islands of Adventure. I'm gonna go ahead and close out here because it is starting to drizzle just a little bit. So that is a wrap for day 24 of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. You can follow me on all social media platforms at below heavy. And if you care, you should share. Share this video. Share it with anybody you know. Send it to somebody that you hate and waste their time. <laughs> so that's a wrap. As always, I love you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. Bye-bye. Hey there, friend. Just because the video's over doesn't mean the magic has to end. Click here or here to keep living your most magical life. And don't forget to subscribe.